Hey, this is JJ at Capital. Uh, we're going to be shooting a how-to video on how to do an open blow cellulose application into the attic of a home. We are uh, currently at uh, Barton Ridge Outdoor Club uh, in Coosa County. Uh, I'm going to go over some machine settings and everything for you, kind of go over the setup of the machine. We'll be using a Model 70 in this video. So uh, from here we will go inside the trailer. I will show you the setup where we're going to put the material gate, uh, the material that we're going to be using, and uh, the attic that we'll be blowing into. Like I said, we're going to do a how-to video on how to do an open blow cellulose application into the attic of a home. We are currently at uh, Barton Ridge Outdoor Club uh, in Hanover, Alabama. It's a small community outside of Rockford, probably uh, 50 miles north of Montgomery and 50 miles south of Birmingham. Uh, this is a small uh, cabin they have out in the wood to accommodate the members. For more information about Barton Ridge Outdoor Club, if you would, go to www.bartonridgeoutdoorclub.com. Uh, now we'll go to the front of the machine to get you uh, kind of the material gate settings, uh, where we're going to be, what kind of hose we're going to use, and those types of things. We will be using the Capital Machine Model 70. Now this is a portable gas powered machine. Uh, as you can see the machine is about four feet tall. Well it's exactly four feet tall. Uh, four feet in width. If you can see that. This is a gas powered machine. This particular machine comes with a water pump. Water pumps are optional. Caster packages are also optional. We will be using cellulose on this application. Uh, it's going to be a little trial and error in regards to what we have the material gate settings on. There's a picture of the material gate. Uh, probably going to start it on about three and go from there. This is a look inside of the hopper of the Model 70. As you can see it has heavy duty augers. Uh, these augers uh, are made of a one-piece shaft. They're also powder coated to withstand the test of time. Uh, if you can see the capacity, the capacity is phenomenal. This is your emergency shutoff switch. Uh, this is what you would use uh, if an individual person, foreign object, anything like that were to get in the machine. Immediately we would want to engage that. The Model 70 is powered by a Kohler 9.5 horsepower electric start engine with a recoil backup. Here's a look at the engine, which is the drivetrain. Uh, if you look right here, this is a water pump. And as I said, that is an option on all Capital Models uh, gas powered machines. Uh, we do wall spray, water pump applications with, with uh, all of our models. So this kind of gives you some indication as a drivetrain of the vehicle. This is a side view. This is the exhaust side of the engine. Uh, if you'll see out of the uh, side of the engine, I have ran a flex tubing through the floor of the truck. And I have mounted that with a flange on the bottom side of the trailer so that, uh, so that my, I don't get any exhaust fumes inside of the rig. This is a pressure weighted relief valve for the blowing system. Now on the Model 70, uh, as you can see up close, uh, please don't regulate your air pressure by the amount of washers. Uh, it comes outfitted from the OEM uh, with our factory specs, okay? This is the control panel for the Model 70. Uh, you're looking at where the uh, remote plug, this comes outfitted with a 150 foot remote uh, with the on and off switch. Uh, you've got machine only, remote only. And uh, those will have to be engaged for the remote to work. So the guy in the attic will have a uh, he'll have a hundred he'll have the switch the the handheld control for the uh, remote, uh, and he will be able to control the the uh, air material from the attic of the of the job that we're on. This is a picture of the uh, adjustable material gate on the capital, and. Uh, we have slotted holes for the amount of material that you get so that you can gauge and once you get to the desired material usually it will fall in place with a hole and we just put a carter pin in top of that hole selection. Uh, sometimes I will mark on here when I'm doing a specialty application whether it be wall spray or whatever 
uh, if I've if I've got if I'm in between two slots, I'll just go ahead and and mark that on my gate so that uh, you know there's no guesswork the next time we do the application. This is an overview shot of the water pump, battery, material gate, control panel, Kohler nine and a half horsepower engine, loading tray. Tiny Tack, which keeps up with the hours on the machine, how many RPMs you're going, and this is very important when you're trying to adjust the amount of material that you get. Uh, you'll do that uh, one of a couple ways. You'll do that by engine RPMs, which is this is you'll be able to tell it by this Tiny Tack, and also how you adjust your material gate. <clears throat> so there's several different ways on a capital. This one runs on one clutch, not two. So basically, those are your two primary settings. Alright, so here we are on the Model 70 again. We're going to start out with uh, three bags of cellulose in the hopper. Uh, the Model 70 is equipped with a 12-inch airlock. It's going to have a 3-inch hose. And uh, as you can see, we've got the hose running into the house. We're just minutes before starting the open blow demonstration, uh, along with a 150-foot remote. And uh, as soon as our guys get in position uh, this will be the crawl space into the attic this is where all the magic takes place so we've started we've got a pretty small crawl space that we're working with so uh, we're going to try to get up and get, get you a little footage as he uh, as he works his way in uh, we're going to start at the back of the crawl space, as you can see, and try to work our way out. We're working with very, very limited room. <clears throat> Hopefully, we will end up blowing about an R30 uh, with the cellulose product. Wait. Here's a wrap up. We'd use, this is JJ with Capital Machine. Uh, the demonstration you just saw was with our Model 70. Uh, it's how to do open blow cellulose in an attic. Uh, very small, uh, pretty tight crawl space, uh, so it didn't take us very long. We blew about 20 bags uh, at about an R30. Uh, like I said, we're at Barton Ridge Outdoor Club. We want to thank them for letting us come out. For more information on uh, our Model 70 or any of our other models, go to capitalmachine.com. That's capital with an O. Thanks. That's a wrap.